Hey everyone, welcome to this video. Today we're gonna go do a massive burger challenge at a flea market. Yeah, you're probably wondering what I am. Anyway, so this is a restaurant called the Westport Flea Market. Um, so that being said, it is in Kansas City, Missouri. So let's be going for my first food challenge win in the state of Missouri. Um, I now have officially been to Missouri as I went through it as I came from Iowa to Kansas City, Kansas. So I drove through it, I've been to Missouri. We're gonna get our first food challenge win, hopefully, in Missouri. So for this challenge, it is basically five of their flea burgers stacked on top of each other. Um, very, very large burgers, big patties, uh, big buns, served with a big order of their fries. I know you have a 30 minute time limit to complete it, and if you win, you get a free t-shirt and the 54 dollar meal for free, something around there, 55, 54, 50 dollar meal for free. Um, so that will give you the exact details. You do not have to give advance notice to try the challenge out. You can just show up. Um, they said there has only been about three winners in about maybe 500 attempts. Um, the challenge has been around for quite a few years. It was featured on um, like the Food Network a number of times. And so yeah, pretty much that's about it. The place is also kind of like an arcade. So uh, let's head on in, let's have fun. Let's go eat some food. Wish us luck, Big Burger Challenge. The first one in Missouri. So let's go see if we can get our first challenge, challenge win in the state. Let's go. Order on Tahiro with the Super Flea. So the basically five burgers, five pieces of cheese, five buns, 10 pieces of bacon, and then two pounds of their curly fries here. So there's been about three-ish winners in existence out of thousands of attempts. Um, there is Mr. Randy Sentel on the wall. He's the only one they have on the wall. Um, but that's about that. It's pretty late here, so we might as well get a rock in the rolling. I, it does smell good, I will say. Um, I got some ketchup here, got a ketchup plate. So, at that, let's get started here. So, hopefully this is cooled off enough. I let it cool off a little bit. So, ooh, it smells good, guys. It smells good, definitely big burgers. These are 10 ounce patties. So, how we get started, we'll say the count of five, four, three, two, one, wish me luck. Thank you. Not bad. Tastes good. Nice bit of salt seasoning in it. And they cooked the burger perfectly. Thanks, guys. It's funny, I'm almost getting like McDonald's taste vibes, but it's really good. Hey everyone, welcome to this video. Today we are here in Kansas City, Missouri. Yes, Kansas City, Missouri, taking on the Super Flea at the Westport Flea Market. So this is a restaurant and or I guess I'd call it like a, I don't know, arcade slash fun zone slash pub. Um, kind of a little bit of everything. So they had like some um, arcade games. They had like, you know, that like you know, I know what that is. You throw it, roll the ball into the thing. Anyway, you get the point. Lots of different seatings around, then a bar and a restaurant, blah, blah, blah. Um, so pretty cool uh, that they offer a food challenge. And believe it or not, this food challenge has gotten them a lot, a lot, a lot of attention. A surprising amount. Um, in fact, this would arguably one of the most, uh, like, be one of the most famous food challenges in the area. Um, so they have gotten on numerous TV shows with this challenge, and it had been around for quite a few number of years. So this is called the Super Flea. They have their traditional flea burger, and this is essentially five of those, and then you know, with the fries, etc. So I will say they were giant beef patties. Um, they're supposed to be 10 ounces each, and I think they really, really were. I mean, just they were thick, um, definitely for sure. They did cook them uh, properly. Astrum cooked like a, probably like a medium-ish, and they were. It was also nicely seasoned, and I uh, really had no complaints in regards to taste. Um, it was tasting good. This was incredibly late at night. And this was like 11 or 11.30 uh, you know, p.m., um, so really it was kind of you know, amazing they were still open. And I did pay the $43 in advance, and then we get reimbursed if we complete it, and a free t-shirt. And this is the first food challenge attempt in Missouri. So I hope we get that first win. Good 
Big patties. This was definitely not a challenge I had planned, and then it really just kind of worked out that I again had some time, you know, this late at night um, to actually make it happen. And, uh, you know, accidentally go and do my first food challenge attempt in uh, Missouri. That's why I wanted to do it, really. You know what I mean? I had a long day, but. I was able to fit it in because I said, hey, I didn't even, I didn't even, actually didn't even realize I was going to drive through Missouri, to be honest. So now I can officially say that, you know, I made it to Missouri, barely, admittingly. I'll be back. I'll be back. Don't worry. And I was able to have a food challenge attempt in Missouri and hopefully get my first food challenge win. I'll come to Well, I appreciate it. Many people see the burgers with some pink in them and they really don't like that. So let me know down below how you like your burger cooked. Do you like it with pink or no pink? Like I said, let me know. Give me a hashtag pink or a hashtag no pink. That being said, um, really cool place. I mean, the staff were friendly and accommodating. They definitely have the kitchen open late hours. And again, that really kind of serves to being like a pub, essentially like a late night hangout. Um, definitely an interesting place. I think arguably some people might almost kind of call it a dive bar in a way. But um, yeah, like I said, a, a surprisingly, like I said, well known and like advertised and recognizable place. Um, I think there's definitely some history to the, the uh, flea market as well, um, dating back many a years. And I mean, let's be honest, for it to be named the flea market, you would assume that there's a little bit of a story behind it. As we mentioned, there had been thousands, just thousands of attempts and very few winners. I don't know where we are for time, but we got basically two burgers left, all the fries. It's pretty tasty. No shortage of meat though or food. So of course I was hoping to join that list of the very few winners. Um, apparently you do get your picture on the Wall of Fame, although they only had uh, one picture up there, which was Mr. Randy Santel's. Um, and yeah, so I believe that's pretty much all the information. Um, again, the burger was about, uh, you know, 45 or $50 or whatever. Um, you did have to pay up front. You get reimbursed if you complete it. Um, you also do get a t-shirt. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much about that. So with that everyone, let's get to the rest of the video. Uh, let me know if you're from Missouri and uh, let me know if I need to come back because like I said, I was really only in Missouri for, um, I don't even know if I could say a couple hours. Like it might even been less than a couple hours. So I think I'm due to come back. We got some friends up in St. Louis area we definitely need to visit. There's a few other places in Missouri I definitely want to get to as well. Um, so with that guys, ultimately let's tune on in. Let's see if we can complete the Super Flea in the 30 minutes and uh, let's get eating. Um, by the way, the fries are supposed to be about two pounds of fries and then the overall challenge is roughly supposed to be about six pounds. Um, at least that is what is advertised and or showcased. So, like I said, we'll get to it and let's see what happens. <laughs> Can you come make sure this is still going? Yeah, you're eight minutes in. Thanks, man. Eight minutes and 30 seconds. Thank you, thank you. You gonna do it next? No, I'm not. I might die. Last burger. I am filling up, but we'll get her done. I 
about 9.45 in. This, they're all fresh. Lots of them. Now these fries. Woo. No shortage of food, to put it that way. Thank you. Rock and roll. Storage, everybody. Long time since I ate curly fries though. Let me know if you like curly fries down below. Almost two thirds done the first.
20 minutes in, everybody. Whew. A lot of food. And we are finished. Woo. No shortage of food. Thank you guys. Definitely no shortage of food, but there we go. We completed this super flea. Um, this place actually won a like award for best burgers in Kansas City a while ago. It was a solid burger. Definitely big. You definitely don't need to eat one that big. But a cool place, staff been really friendly. Again, we joined the three other winners out of thousands of attempts. So that's pretty cool. We're gonna picture over the wall of fame. And uh, we get the meal for free, so I get my $43.50 back. We do get a sweet t-shirt. And uh, <laughs> eternal glory in their own words. So that everyone, hope you enjoyed today's video. Uh, that's about it. We got our first win in Missouri. I'm glad we got to do it. I didn't think I'd be able to fit this in, but sure enough, at like almost 11 o'clock at night, we were able to fit it in. So we got it. So that everyone, until next time. Of course, happy on the hungry, happy eating. That's about it. So have a lovely day. Hey, guess what? You rock, yes, you rock. Thank you so much for watching the video. I totally appreciate it. I hope you left me a comment down below. I'd love to read them. I hope you also liked that video. Hey, by the way, click my face. You can subscribe. Yes, subscribe. That way you always get my uploads. You won't miss me when I'm in your town. And I also picked two videos for you. Yes, two videos I know you'll love right here. So watch one of those, hit my face. And at that, thank you so much, you rock.